Good evening, everybody. This is Uncle Justin and the family. I'm yours truly, Uncle Justin. And right now, I'm just going to walk up to Lonnie's business, see how things are going, and uh, just take you guys along. So let's do it. This lady's got some barbecue going on, and it smells good. Oh, patrol officer's back. Moving on. Another thing I really like about this time of the day is the fact that you do smell all these barbecue stands. It's like the smell of dinner. For those of you who already know me, you know I love me some food. It's a nice convenience store. Of course, more little stores, vegetables and meats and fishes. Pretty nice. Always got something for sale somewhere. Now this area is one of the things that I dislike. I do not care for it all. And that is you're driving along and all of a sudden you come up on construction or a road closure and there's no warning and as you can tell they've been working on this uh this speed bump for a while hey, sir. how's it going All right, nice to go. i'm good thank you sir uh, hey how's it going man that place had some fried chicken and whoop, her. another famous site in the Philippines. The napping kitty cat. <laughs> see me, I enjoy cats, so I think it's cute to see them sacked out in weird places. Over here, folks, is one of these things, a CUDA. It's an electric three-wheeled vehicle. Some of them are set up for passengers, but obviously that one is set up to haul cargo. I've never driven one. I think they're a little over $1,000 each. But um, who knows? See, they're becoming quite popular. I mean, there goes one now for passengers. Oh, another cat. And the Philippines, they're called Pusa. And this one obviously seems to belong to somebody. He's got a little collar on him. And hopefully we'll make it to Lonnie's Pharmacy before the sun goes down. Along this street, man, they got like everything you can want. Oh yeah, show Mai. Let me tell you, I, I don't know if show Mai has really caught on to popularity in the U.S. I mean, before I left a month ago, I didn't really hear much about show Mai, but out here it is everywhere. Everybody's cooking show Mai, selling show Mai, restaurants have it. And if you've never tried it, you should. It's pretty good. Don't know what it is. Some type of Chinese dish. But it is good. Over there, you can get any type of rice that you want. All different prices. Scoop it. And charge by the kilo. I'm going to stop for a second. See if this lady will go, ah, oh, you know what? We can just go around. No big deal. Whoa, look back there. That's pretty cool. No idea what that was. Biker's crib. Kitchenette. That might be a good place. Yep. That might be a good place to go and try to eat sometime. Who knows? Close to the house. Probably tastes good. Another Cuda. 
getting all cleaned up. Underdog's garage. Guess you can just bring your scooter up there for repair. A little maintenance. Oh yeah, tire store. How's it going guys? Hello. Hey. Look at this. Pots and plants for sale. I'm telling you, you walk down the street, you can find anything. Food, beer, fish, plants, rice, rice, baby. It's everywhere. This over here on our left is the car wash. Whenever we borrow Lonnie's sister's car, that's where we go. 100 pesos, man. And it comes out so clean. You wouldn't believe it. And again, that's only like two bucks. Try to find a car wash for two bucks by hand in the US. If you do find a place like that, let me know. We got a jeepney parked here. It's like an owner type car. Another Cuda passing us. Let's see, man. Thankfully, this speed bump is in good shape, not under repair. Oh my gosh, my favorite pet store, Kristen's Pet Supply. Let me tell you, the ladies in there will take care of you. They got everything. Everything that you need anyway. That's where we go to buy cat litter and cat food. This little tuk-tuk looking thing. But that's uh they converted it into a box truck. crazy is that this right here is the water place so you get your filter hey how's it going get all your filtered water delivered and those big blue jugs man they just loaded up on those trikes maybe they even loaded into that little motorcycle box truck thing just haul it on down Looks like it's a gas engine. Caleb. Collab? Something. Anyhow. I think that they're cool. Of course, if we were to ever get something like that, I'd need it more for passengers because we got Lonnie. We got Edessa. We don't really need to haul like those guys do haul for a living. Bicycle hauling butt, man. <laughs> Holy cow, that guy's lit up. Be easy to see at night. And let me tell you, some of these small motorcycles and tricycles don't have lights. No brake lights, no headlights. They're still out there. Whoa, look at this. Spa. You guys can check that out. Wow. That's pretty cool. And we're walking again. Hey, there's the patrol officer. He's passing us again. No idea what he's doing, but he's doing his work. Look at this, this is a nice looking restaurant. 
Lots of plants. Looks nice on the inside. Wonder what all they serve there. Might be another place to check out for dinner. Gotta say, one thing I do not like about these little electric scooters and electric tricycles is that they make no noise, which means you don't know if they're behind you or fixing to turn or pulling out. When I used to ride a motorcycle, there was a saying, loud pipes save lives. I think it's true. They're hard to see, but if you can hear them, you know they're there. Hey guys. And this right here, it's like a barangay inspection point for food delivery people. They have to pull in and I think they get their temperature taken or something like that. Then they send them on. And I am very happy to say we are closed. Salani's Pharmacy. Right across from the tricycle stand is Loreto's Pharmacy. This is Lonnie's Pharmacy. And we are so proud to have it. One of these days I'll shoot a video about the pharmacy itself and show you everything that's inside. But, you know, Lonnie sells a little bit of everything. Prescription medicines, non-prescription medicines, ice cream, health and beauty. It's awesome. Well guys, that ends it for my little journey walking up to the pharmacy. As you can tell, it took, you know, 15 minutes or so, not bad. Anyhow, thank you for watching. Consider liking and subscribing. I'm Alan. Put out a few more videos. Thanks, guys.